Hello children, Sairam. Welcome back to the online classes after the summer break. In today's session, we are going to do a MATLAB activity. The topic is commutative property of addition and multiplication of whole numbers, which we have learnt in the chapter, second chapter whole numbers. So, what is the commutative property? It says that we can add or multiply the whole numbers in any order. It does not affect the result that means the result remains the same. This is the first activity in sixth class. We are going to do this activity in two parts. In the first part in part A we are going to verify that addition is commutative for whole numbers. This will be doing by paper cutting and pasting. In part B we are going to verify that multiplication is commutative for whole numbers. This also will be doing by paper cutting and pasting. Now let us watch a video to understand how to do the activity. Hello children, today we are going to do a math lab activity. This is activity 1. To verify that addition and multiplication are commutative for whole numbers which we have studied in chapter 2 whole numbers. Now what do we require to do this activity? We need two grid papers. You can also take graph papers or square root papers from your old notebook. Glue a few sketch pens or color crayons and scissors. Now we do this activity in two parts. In the first part we will verify that addition is commutative for whole numbers. To prove this, to verify this, this let us take an example 3 plus 4 is equal to 4 plus 3. Now let us see how we do this. For this we will take a grid paper and out of this grid paper we are going to cut two strips of 3 units length and shade them with any color like I have shaded them with red color. Now from the same grid paper you have to cut two strips of four units length, four units length and shade them with a different color. I have shaded them blue. Now what we do is to represent 3 plus 4 we first stick a strip of 3 units length on the grid paper and beside that we stick another strip of 4 units length in the same line on the grid paper like this. This represents 3 plus 4. Now to represent 4 plus 3 we have to stick them properly there should not be any gap between the strips. Now to represent 4 plus 3, first we will stick the strip of 4 unit length and then in the same line we will stick the strip of length 3 units in the same line on the grid paper. I have shown this 
here this represents 3 plus 4 and this represents 4 plus 3. Now let us compare these two strips. What do we find? We find that both the strips are of equal length. Both the strips are of length 7 square units. That means 3 plus 4 is equal to 4 plus 3 which is equal to 7. This proves that the addition is commutative for whole numbers. Now let's move on to the second part of the activity. In the second part of the activity we verify that the multiplication is commutative for whole numbers or commutative property of multiplication of whole numbers. For this we verify 3 multiplied by 4 is equal to 4 multiplied by 3. Now let's see how we do this. For this we will take a grid paper and out of this grid paper we will cut strips, three strips of four units length, three strips of four units length and color them. I have colored them blue. In the same way from the same grid paper we will cut four strips of three units length and color them red. Now to represent 3 multiplied by 4 we stick 3 strips of 4 units length like this to form a rectangle and to represent 4 multiplied by 3 we stick 4 strips of 3 units length in the form of rectangle like I have shown you. So this represents 3 multiplied by 4 and this represents 4 multiplied by 3. Now compare both the rectangles. What do we find? We find that number of boxes in both the rectangles is equal to 12. That means the number of square units in both the rectangles are equal. So 3 multiplied by 4 is equal to 4 multiplied by 3. So we can say that multiplication is commutative for whole numbers. Thank you. Children, I hope you have understood how to do the activity. Now I will explain you how to uh, write the activity in your MATLAB activity notebook. Children, you need to have a MATLAB activity notebook. If you do not have, you can use any notebook that is available at home. Now, uh, one more important thing that you have to know is that we uh, write the theory or uh, the procedure on the right side of the activity notebook whereas the left side the left hand side of the activity notebook is used to stick pictures or draw diagrams. Now let us see how we write the activity. First we have to write the name or the topic that is commutative property of whole numbers of addition and multiplication of whole numbers. Then you should write aim to verify that addition and multiplication are commutative for whole numbers. Now we will write what are the materials needed for the activity. 
materials required grid paper or graph paper you can mention the number of papers that you have used scissors glue color crayons or sketch pens now you have to write the prerequisite knowledge that is the knowledge of addition and multiplication of whole numbers and the knowledge of commutative property of whole numbers after that we are going to write the procedure for first part of the activity that is procedure a to verify 3 plus 4 is equal to 4 plus 3 in the first step you will write cut two strips each of length 3 units from a grid paper and shade them with any color for example red as shown in the figure 1a now second step cut two strips each of length 4 units from the grid paper and shade them with a different color say blue as shown in the figure 1b so you have to cut the strips like this and stick them on the left page of the activity notebook that is figure 1a and figure 1b now third point for representing 3 plus 4 paste one strip of length 3 units and then paste another strip of length 4 units in the same line on the grid paper without leaving any gap as shown in the figure 1c fourth point for representing 4 plus 3 paste one strip of length 4 units and then paste another strip of length 3 units in the same line on the grid paper without leaving any gap as shown in the figure 1d these are the uh, strips that are those are stuck on the uh, activity book on the left side page of the activity book that is figure 1c and figure 1d they represent 3 plus 4 and 4 plus 3 now you have to write point 5 now compare counting uh, by counting numbers of the boxes the length of the strips obtained in step 3 and step 4 you have to compare the length of the strips as explained in the activity uh that we obtained during step 3 and step 4 now what is observation that is number of shaded boxes in the representation of 3 plus 4 is equal to 7 and the number of shaded boxes in the representation of 4 plus 3 is equal to 7 thus 3 plus 4 is equal to 4 plus 3 so what is the conclusion that is addition is commutative for whole numbers now we come to the second part of the activity and write the procedure for second part of the activity first step cut out three strips each of length four boxes from a grid paper and shade them with any color for example blue two place them on a grid paper to form a rectangle as shown in the figure 2a then cut out four strips each of length 3 units from the grid paper and shade them with color red or any other color and place them on the same grid paper to form a rectangle as shown in the figure 2b so 
in this form you have to stick the strips to form the rectangles. The first figure that is figure 2a shows 3 multiplied by 4 and figure b shows 4 multiplied by 3. Now compare the number of boxes in each of the two rectangles obtained are they equal? Yes they are equal. Now what is the observation? You have to write the observation number of shaded unit squares in the representation of 3 multiplied by 4 is equal to 12 and number of shaded unit squares in, in the representation of 4 multiplied by 3 is also 12. Thus 3 multiplied by 4 is equal to 4 multiplied by 3. So what is the conclusion? The conclusion is multiplication is commutative for whole numbers. So children by doing this activity I hope you have understood the commutative property of addition and sub, uh, multiplication of whole numbers in a better way. So what is the learning outcome? You have to write the learning outcome also by performing activity 1a and b students are able to verify that addition and multiplication are commutative for whole numbers. So this is the end of uh, this session. I hope you will all perform this activity and write the theory as well as you will stick the strips in your uh, activity notebook neatly and you will understand the activity in a better way. Till then we will meet in the next session till then goodbye.